What's happening guys, my name is Anthony and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys a track guide for the newest track on F1 2021 just released this week, Imola. So yeah, for this one I know that a lot of you guys have been struggling with the track, uh, so have I in, in certain aspects, but I've gotten used to the track now and I feel as if I'm quick enough at the track where I can really give you guys a detailed guide on it. So if you're new to these videos, you've never seen them before, what I like to do with these videos is I take you on a slow lap around each track on the, on the game and I'll sort of just talk about the details of how to be quick and then once we've done that, I will give you guys a hot lap that you can watch so that you can understand how to tackle the track in real time and it will give you a better sense of what you need to do once you've actually gone into the game and done it yourself and then if you want a setup to it there will be a link in the pinned comment section of this video go there and you'll be able to find baseline setups that you can use in 50 percent races and league races and stuff like that if you want to um it's still not complete i do apologize about that it's just i've not really had the time to do every single track yet however you can go there and you'll be able to find a track uh, a setup for Imola, so make sure to go to the pinned comment section once again. And for the boring part of this intro, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's get straight into that slow lap so that you can find out how to be quick. Okay guys, so we're at the final sector of Imola and Imola seems to be one of those tracks where at the start of the lap, you will take it the exact same way as you would at the end of the lap. So it's not like a track like spa Francorchamps, for example, where you would take the final couple of corners a little bit differently at the start than you would at the end. So coming into these final couple of corners, the black box on the right hand side or the big the bigger Rolex sign, you could use either one of those as your reference points. Uh, you'll be in seventh gear coming up to that just before you hit those, you want to start braking. Uh, it is downhill, so you do want to brake slightly earlier than you think you should, just because it is a downhill section, meaning the car is harder to stop. Uh, you can choose to use either fourth or third gear here. I prefer third gear just so that I could get the car rotated and get my foot on the throttle as soon as possible. So that's why I like using third gear. Then I will short shift back up to fourth gear. Then for this final corner here, you want to be as wide as possible because you want to have that angle to really just flick the car in and gain as much amount of speed as you possibly can. So do you just flick the car in fourth gear Hug this curbing here as tightly as you can. Get your foot as uh, on the throttle as smoothly and as quickly as you can. And then run as wide as possible. Again, just to really carry that speed. Open up the RS. And we've started a lap at Imola. So at Imola, turn one is pretty much flat out. It's basically not even a corner. It's turn two, I believe, where you start braking. And coming up to this corner now, you'll be on the right-hand side of the track. And you'll be using the green, white, and red curbing on the side here just as you're coming up to the 50 meter board. So I'd say roughly maybe about 70 to 60 meters. That's when you're gonna start braking. You wanna brake super late here because you're carrying a lot of speed into these first couple of corners. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use fourth in the hot lap that you're about to see after this slow lap, I use fifth. Uh, I do think fourth just gives a little bit more stability uh, with this particular setup. So I would recommend if you're gonna use this setup, uh, which is pretty much a time trial setup at this point, but it will be modified very soon. Uh, use fourth gear, you wanna ride over this first curb. The second curb is the curb you want to miss more than the first curb. You wanna take as much of this first curb as possible to really open up that angle so that you don't have to use the second curb. Cause as you can see, look at those yellow, Sasha's curbs, they look ugly, they feel ugly, you don't want to hit them. So uh, yeah, short trip up the fifth, just right over the uh, Italian curbing there. And then just really just carry as much speed as you can through these corners. And uh, you're coming up to this next corner now. This corner, very tricky, because you can easily lose a car, but you have to take the curbing if you want to be quick. Uh, what I like to do is, I, I usually take this corner flat, and I actually use the engine braking of the car to stabilize the car. You don't have to do this, um, especially if you're in career mode, because it can kill the engine. Um, but if you're if you're racing online or if you're racing in GP mode, you can do this, where um, I take it flat and then I shift down into stick gear while still flat. And for me, what happens is the engine braking just, man, it helps me stabilize the car whilst riding over this curb. And then it allows me to brake a little bit deeper into the corner, which means I can carry just that little bit extra speed coming into this next corner, which you will shift down into fourth. And I can't remember if I told you guys the, um, the turning point, but the turning point for that previous corner is the 50, uh, roughly just before the 50 meter board. Then just carry as much speed as you can here. 
uh, you'll be back up to 6 by the time you get to the end of sector 1. And usually what I do is I break in between this grey road on the right hand side and the 50 meter board. So just after I've passed this grey road, right around about here, this is probably going to be about 60, 55 meters. Um, that's when I start to break. I actually like to keep the car on the right hand side just for a little bit longer than you think because this corner it does have a little bit of a of, of a sort of cambered section here and if you turn in a little bit too early then the corner sort of just goes on forever and you can understeer wide on exit so i like to stay wide just for a little bit and then i'll turn in i like to use second gear here just to keep the car as close to the curves as i possibly can whilst going through this corner short shift up the third and then just be smooth with the throttle to carry the speed use all the track possible uh, it's an uphill section so you do want to try and be as early on the throttle as you can then for this corner just before the 50 meter board you'll be in seventh gear do a little flick with a little bit of braking shift down into fifth and then just try and get your foot back onto the throttle as soon as you can to carry all that speed through use all the track possible and then for this corner uh, you'll be in seventh gear it is flat it's uh, some people do brake for it uh, if you are following another car in the race you probably will need to brake for it just in case they slow down um but yeah you you would usually take this corner flat and then as soon as you've passed the apex of this corner you pretty much want to start braking for the next corner so you come here and then as soon as you pass there you're going to be right around about here very very quickly you want to start braking uh, for this next corner you're going to brake using as much of the track as you possibly can shift down into fourth gear hold it in fourth just to try and carry the speed through here hit the apex nicely and then you want to be smooth with the throttle because as you can see it is uphill so you are going to lose a lot of time if you are slower or if you're more aggressive so you want to be smooth with the throttle and this will allow you to use all the track without spinning very easy to spin at that corner and then just stabilize the car by using all the curbing here then coming up to the beginning of the final sector now you guys know this corner if you've been on twitter if you've been on tiktok you've probably already seen the meme that i've posted about it this corner is this these chicane is very difficult and it's ruined a lot of laps but what i like to do is i like to go into this corner in seventh gear i believe seventh or eighth doesn't really matter all too much um but i usually break a little bit earlier just so that i can you know right over these two curbs a little bit more uh with a little bit more stability so i break slightly earlier than you think you would and uh just before the 50 meter board is where i i, I break probably about 70 75 meters and then i break down into third gear and then for this first part of the chicane you want to completely ride over it use all of the curbing possible you want to have the right hand side of your car on that yellow curbing there and then for the second part once again very similar to the third one earth uh, the first part you want to have the left hand side of your car on that yellow curbing using all of the curbing possible and then you want to try and keep the car as stable as possible this corner is so difficult on exit to get traction uh, but you want to try and be as stable as you can with the car be as smooth as possible with the throttle and really get that stability on exit and then once again as we've had before with the beginning of the lap just before the rolex sign or the black me of uh, the black box break from the seventh gear down into third using all the track on entry uh hitting the apex nicely short shifting up the fourth using all the track for the final corner so you could just flip the car in flip the car in hug the curbing as much as you can be as smooth as you can with the throttle so that you can get that traction use all the exit open up the rs and that is a lap of imola so you're about to see the hot lap uh, it's not the quickest hot lap in the world because I did do it a good couple of days ago when the track was still quite new and to be honest I just I can't be bothered to sweat time time trial anymore to get a better lap to show you but this lap should be good enough to sort of give you an idea of how to be quick around Imola so we'll get to that and then we'll go to the outro of the video so I'll catch you guys there.
Okay, that last lap was a 1 minute 14.0. Okay guys, so we've gone around the track slowly talking about the details. I've shown you guys how to tackle the track in real time with the hot lap. Now it's time for you to go into time trial, go into GP mode or even go online and take what you've learned from this track guide and start winning races at Imola. So I hope that you did learn from this. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. In addition to that, make sure to wait until the end card so that you can go to my track guide playlist and you'll be able to see the track guide in a similar fashion in a similar format for every single track on the game i will be getting around to every single track and i believe at this point i've done about i think between 12 and 15 not 100 sure but i've done quite a few already so you can go and start winning races at those tracks and i'll see you guys in my next track guide